Daddy Love Productions. Daddy Love Productions. Daddy Love Productions. <laughs> believe we are back here again 179 little walker road i sold this property through a referral that came in sold it for three hundred eighty thousand dollars. i sold it to a church who sold it to another branch of the same church because they thought they had a tenant then that tenant never showed up and then i had to sell it for them again right away so i sold it twice in one year then it came back sold it to a church from new jersey came in they bought it from one year i followed up hey how's everything going we want to sell then we sold it a third time to these guys and now i called them their business their camp doesn't work here in pennsylvania they got to be in new york so they bought another camp out there and it's for sale again 179 little walker road 25 acres sleeps over 200 people right now tax exempt which is the which is the big opportunity here because once a property is tax exempt it doesn't want to no municipality wants to lose their taxes so they won't they will never grant that again whatever's here is here so here we go let's take a look i can't believe they i told them we have a showing they didn't even cut the grass look at this place all cosmetic the bones are good they redo that whole building brand new they said they did this too so let's see Three times, dude. I've sold this building three times. So let's add up the commission. 380 times, I think 6%. I don't even know what that is. Okay, so I may have fucked this up because I went and showed him the worst looking building. I didn't show him this beautiful chapel. Come take a look. I didn't show him the brand new building. They saw one building and ran off. Could be my fault. It is my fault. I fucked up. I have to take responsibility. So what's the teaching lesson here? I gotta stop being so goddamn gullible. Definitely can't take people's word for it. I should have came and saw the property before I brought the the client here to see it. Let's see here, cause I'm yes. I saw the whole property. I saw the whole property, and I showed him the worst part. Why wouldn't I start with the beginning? I quoted him $1.2 million off of what the seller said. Now I look like an idiot quoting this property $1.2 million. So I definitely, that, that's a mistake. And that's what you want to do. When you screw up, you want to like write it down and figure out where you, where you messed up so you can improve for next time. When you get a win, you write it down so you can repeat. That's it, on to the next. We have a phone call with my man from California. Just got started in the real estate industry, so I want you guys to hear that coming up next. In the Indian community, like uh, our background is we do a lot of farming. So um, there's, there's
there's a lot of people that look for land deals too. So I, I think a, the hotel, yeah, okay, so, yep. business stores. Yeah. So, so yeah. is that in your family or is it people you know? Well, not technically I know, but I, uh, I know a few of them. You know, my, my uncle in the gas station, uh, my uh, dad, uh, uncle, uh, my brother-in-law, we have ticket stores. Nice. So I kind of do have that little edge um, on that aspect. But is that something that I should focus on for right now? Or should I just focus on being different, like retail? No, man. I, w I think that's your in. You don't, you don't have to stick for the same, stick with the same thing forever. Uh, in a huge market like yours, you should eventually pick uh, something to specialize in but to get your in in commercial real estate you can your your direct sphere of influence is your brother-in-law is your uncle and the people they know you know what i'm saying so give them a call and just say hey what are you looking for let me find you a property you're not asking for a commission because the seller always pays it so those are the first people you call call them up ask him that he's going to want to help you like everybody wants to help other people yeah. so ask him that yeah. write down exactly what he wants look for that property same phone call say um who do you know right now that i can call uh -huh. that is looking for uh -huh. a property um and okay. do that to anyone that is in the commercial real estate um any business owner uh -huh. Mm, okay. Okay. Facebook okay. is huge, okay. but that that phone call will be that phone call will be really good if you do that to a few people. All right, so as I'm here at this property that my client wants me to sell, I got some ideas going through my head that can help you and things to look for when you're looking at a piece of real estate. Look at the roof. If you see a lot of uh, a lot of movement in that roof, some holes, it's not flush. There's a problem. Look at the inside on the ceiling. You see any watermarks? Really look closely because they could they could paint over the watermarks, but it'll always seep through. So look for any like orange stained watermarks. Um, septic is a huge expense. This property septic is shot. A well, digging a new well, they actually dug a well, a 480 foot well. That's huge. So like the mechanicals, electrical, roof, structure. That's the key items that to look for when you're looking at real estate. Everything else, cosmetic. This grass, cut this in a day. Imagine how much it costs to cut this grass. 25 acres, how much does it cost to cut this?